Garfish are absolutely amazing. Little bread and butter species available all year round. And they're certainly a lot of fun to catch for both adults and kids. The one thing about them is the tackle required to be able to catch them. I'll just put this one in the box. So garfish are a very small little species. All you need is a two to four kilo light tapered rod. Just a little reel, don't have to go too heavy. Extremely light line, I'm only using some six pound braid and I've got six pound leader as well because these fish are only weighing about a hundred or so grams. Then to catch them, a float set up. Pretty standard really. Rig the float, a couple of split shot to get it weighted evenly in the water and then your hook. In this case it's a really fine size 12 mustard, four five four oh and a half. The half means it's a half gauge hook, so it's really light wire, pins the fish really, really easy. It's good fun for kids, as I mentioned, because the kids can just sit in the boat and they can watch the float. And as the float just sits and sits out there, as soon as the garfish grabs the bait, down it goes. And garfish only have small mouths, hence the small hook. So when you cast it out the float, like I mentioned, it just sits really, really buoyant in the water. The other thing too, is making sure you're using the right floats. Obviously floats come in a large array of sizes, shapes, but what you want to do is you want to get one that's really easy for the garfish to pull under the water. If you've got a float that's too buoyant, you won't necessarily see the bites and then it'll be an occasion of just winding it in and hopefully there's one there. But when you're using real fine floats, these ones can get pulled under the water really, really easy by those small little fish. The other thing too is various floats have um, provisions for lights as well. This one, I've got a glow stick on the top for fishing at night or a float like this which actually has a battery inside and the whole top lights up so I really like fishing for garfish early morning or even at night and that way we use a, a float with a light on it so that we can see obviously when it's low light conditions but the garfish are here, it's time to get back into it <laughs>